Hey guys, it's John Clark here, and today I'm going to talk about like guitars. Uh, I've been getting lots of questions about what guitar to buy um, if you're just starting out with uh, uh, Spanish or classical guitar music, and uh, people have been asking uh, what kind of guitars do I play. And so I've got all my guitars out, and I'm going to uh, talk about each one, and I'll make recommendations about uh, how to buy a guitar. Um, now, sometimes people ask me, like, what brand of guitar, and the truth is I don't have a clear-cut answer for what brand, because there's a ton of great brands out there, uh, and they're all great. Um, the brand that I necessarily play doesn't mean it's the best. Um, there is no such thing as the best. Uh, there's just a lot of different, uh, and, and from one brand to the next, uh, there might be more differences even in the model of guitar rather than the brand. Um, and, you know, because the guitar is made out of wood, uh, no guitar is exactly the same because the woods that they that they use are, you know, uh, organic plant-based material, and it's always different. Um, so let me start off with uh, this guitar here that I have. Uh, this is... Um, um, one of my favorite guitars, this is the Rodriguez, and this was made by Kenny Hill. And uh, when I went to buy it, uh, I went to a guitar shop and I s basically allotted, you know, a, a, about an hour of time to listen to and play a whole bunch of guitars there. And so... Uh, I played this one, and the sound jumped out at me. It, I liked it better than the sound of any other guitars that, that were in the shop. And so that's one of the things I would recommend you do, is, is, uh, is try out and compare the sounds of the guitars to, to each other, and, and figure out what you like. Uh, if you're just a beginner, uh, try finding somebody who might be able to play a few guitars for you so you can have an idea of what they sound like. Um, but basically, it's not real hard to go wrong when buying a nylon string guitar. If you want to do fingerstyle stuff, you want to do like strumming, arpeggios, and uh, like piccato and, and, and other things like that, you know, similar... Uh, style that I play, you're going to want a, a nylon string guitar. Um, don't try to put nylon strings on a steel string guitar. The The neck is made totally different, uh, the tension of the strings is different, it won't work. Um, you want to get a dedicated nylon string guitar, um, a, aka classical guitar or Spanish guitar or flamenco guitars, uh, which are a little bit different. Uh, because they have a, a brighter sound, they usually have a tap guard. Um, sometimes the tuning pegs are actually um, wooden pegs, you know, uh, made the, the traditional way. Um, but but basically, a nylon string guitar is a nylon string guitar, and the differences are not huge. Um, for example, this is a, you know would be considered a classical guitar, whereas this guitar over here. Originally, it would be considered a flamenco guitar, um, but they're not that much different. The woods are different, uh, but they both have nylon strings. They both have the similar size fretboard. They both have the same shape body. They both have tuning pegs at the top. Um, this one, when I first bought it, uh, this is one of the first nylon string guitar I ever bought right here. This is an Esteve. Uh, when I first bought it, it had a tap guard on it. Um, but I ended up taking the tap guard off when uh, a, a crack developed uh, in the in the uh, soundboard right here. So I had to, I wanted to glue it. Um, so I took the tap guard off, and then I also wanted to put on a different finish. So originally it has you know this high gloss uh, lacquer finish, um, or perhaps a polyurethane. I'm not sure. Um, but I took it off because I really like the natural rustic feel of the wood. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that uh, because you could really damage your guitar. I may have, uh, you know, 
put some damage on the soundboard by sanding it down. Um, but uh, I like the, the feel and I like the sound of the, the matte finish on there. And this is kind of like an oil, um, it's actually gunstock oil finish that I have on this guitar. Um, anyways, uh, this, this guitar is, here's, here's what it sounds like. So this is like a, when I first bought it, it was around uh, seven, eight hundred dollars. It's an Esteve two uh, GR five F, an Esteve guitar made in Spain. Uh, this is probably a spruce top. Okay, let me compare that sound to the. Um, the Rodriguez. Okay, so the the the, the tone is is a little bit different. This one has, I think, it has uh, some uh, more resonant harmonics. It's got a little bit of a deeper, raspier tone uh, that I really like. Okay, we'll hear we'll hear the Esteve again. Not quite as loud and as, as present as the Rodriguez. Okay, let's go to another guitar. Now this is the guitar that I use uh, during live performances. You can see that it's to it's uh, quite a bit different. It's a thin body. Uh, it's got a cutaway to reach the higher notes. It's got the built-in pickup system. Um, and I've actually went through probably about five guitars before this um, looking for a, a good sounding uh, live performance guitar and I ended up sticking with this one. Um, for one, it's more ergonomic because it's smaller, it's thinner, I can you know play longer with it. Um, my shoulder is not like way up here, I can, you know, it's a little bit easier on my shoulder. The other thing is, is for the, th for the um, for the thin body, it's got a pretty good sound. Okay, so this is a Cordoba 55 FCE. Um, it has, um, another th thing I like about it is it has um, a, a dual sort of pickup system. It's got the mic inside and then it's got the pickup under the saddle. And I usually blend it a little bit, but uh, uh, I blend the, the under the saddle pickup with the mic pickup to get a more full tone. And, and uh, the guitars that I've had before didn't have the built-in mic. And I think the built-in mic makes a huge difference when playing amplified to get a more natural sound. Um, I personally do not like playing with just the under the saddle pickup. Uh, and guitars that only have under the saddle to pick up, to my ear, sound a little bit unnatural, sound a little bit plasticky. Uh, you sound, you hear more of the nylon. What I don't really want to hear the nylon, I want to hear the wood. I want to hear the wood resonate. And the only way you can do that is with the built-in microphone. The problem, though, that comes along is that when you're playing live and you have a built-in microphone, the microphone can pick up the sound from the speakers and create that big, loud feedback sound that uh, can blast your ears if you're not careful. So um, one of the ways that I personally uh, mitigate that problem is I lower the volume on the, on the guitar, the mic volume, and I compensate with you know, my PA volume. I turn the PA volume up, turn the mic volume down until I get a balance. That way, uh, the mic is, is not so, um, the volume on the mic is not turned up so much that it, it, it hears everything. Uh, I just want it enough to hear the guitar. And, uh, and usually I can, I can uh, get away with playing uh, especially this guitar, uh, without a whole lot of feedback. But feedback can always be a problem. Um, there's also, you know, there's feedback uh, uh, pedals, uh, feedback suppression pedals that you can get that 
that pick out the frequencies that are feeding back and notch them. But anyways, uh, this is the 55 FCE made by Cordoba. Cordoba is a very big guitar company. Uh, they distribute all over the United States. Most guitar shops carry Cordoba. They're all good guitars. Um, they're um, all mostly made in Spain. Um, so, let's move on to another guitar. This guitar is, you know, let's hear what it sounds like. This guitar is a Kenora, which is made, which was made in Japan. This is an older guitar, maybe from the 70s, I'm guessing. I actually found this in a thrift shop, and I got it for $14.99, 15 bucks, basically. Um, so what I did when I bought it is I took it into a guitar shop, and I had them work on the intonation and the action. Basically, I asked for a setup. Um, so they they take a look at uh, the height of the bridge and the height of the nut nut, and uh, they you, you know they might, might be able to lower it a bit to make it easier to play, and they also check out the intonation to make sure that all the notes going up sound correctly, and that can get off depending on the height of the saddle or the height of the nut and or the distance between the nut and the saddle can influence the intonation um, so you know that probably cost about a hundred dollars to fix it up uh, and get the, the the frets polished um, and get the action set up and the intonation set up the other thing I did a lot of times if you buy a used guitar which I do recommend doing because wood ages well, just like wine. Um, a lot of times, though, the pegs uh, malfunction or the screws come out. Um, so if you get a used guitar and it's not working so well, the, the pegs, don't worry too much. You can get uh, a new set of tuning pegs pretty cheaply, probably around $20, $30 for a decent set of tuning pegs. Um, so that's what I did on this guitar. And it works fine, you know, I, I like this guitar. Okay, so this guitar I paid $15 for, it's probably worth more than $15. Um, Maybe, maybe between $150-$300, I'm guessing, I, I don't exactly know. But anyways, so, so that's, that's a, you know, a, a cheaper guitar, but it, it works, it works fine. You can play uh, whatever kind of music uh, you want on it. Now let's compare that sound. Let's compare that sound to the more expensive guitar. And so the sound, again, with this guitar is more present, a little bit louder. But not a huge difference that you're going to go and spend, you know, $2,000 more than you normally would. That difference, you know, uh, depending on how much you're into guitar, uh, you know, is, is pretty small compared to a big price. So you don't have to go out and get an expensive guitar. Basically, you just want to get a nylon string guitar. You don't have to get the same brand that I play. Uh, there's um, tons of brands out there. They're all good. Um, what else? Uh, so those are the guitars. So let me run through them again. This is the Rodriguez. This is the Esteve. This is the Thin Body Cordoba. And this is my Kenora. All right, I hope that helps.